Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo, and today it is Wednesday. Woo woo! And it's been wacky. <laughs> it's a wacky Wednesday. I feel like every day is kind of wacky, but we'll we'll designate it to today. <laughs> um, Monday? No, Tuesday. Tuesday. Joe Bonamassa podcast, and you will find out the winner of that beautiful Fender guitar. I'm very excited for whoever wins. Um, and also the podcast is going to be great. Joe's got such a plethora of information about these guitars and also how he got to where he is. So it's going to be really cool. Um, other than that, we've had a crazy day. Let's just get to it. Come on back. So this, what do we think? Come on, what do we think? It's a 1964 Fender Jazzmaster. <laughs> yes. I love it. I love it. I know you do. All right, this one's really cool. First thing I noticed about this guitar is this three-tone burst. It's almost on fire, this guitar. Um, it's like a clown burst, kind of. Yeah, look at that. It's really cool. I mean, I've never seen a red really as as much as that in that second layer. But looks great. Um, Tour de Shell Guard, of course. Um, you got your three-way selector. All original, this guitar. Rhythm selector still intact. Bar works great. Um, it's got the perfect wave to it, um, which is one of my favorite parts about the Jazzmaster in general. But this one is one of the best tremolo systems I've felt on a Jazzmaster. Um, this is pre-CBS 65. They turn around and it'll turn into, they'll have the binding. Um, but you have no skunk stripe. You got your L plate. Uh, really beautiful. Great condition, actually. A little, few little marks here if you put it to the light. Definitely somebody liked playing it. It is a great player. Um, but the neck is really clean. Um, got a rosewood fretboard. Frets are actually still, they're, they're low, but still, um, very playable. Um, I don't think I would change them out on this one. Um, let's see what else we got here. You got your original tuners. Um, but this is a prime example of an original Fender and a Jazzmaster. And you know, one of the things that I think is really unique about the Jazzmaster in this time is you can get these guitars for under 10 grand and it, I know it sounds, that's a lot of money, there's no doubt about it, but if you think about what you'd be paying for a Strat or a Telecaster, I think it's kind of a unique time, uh, period in time where you can pick these up for relatively reasonable prices for what some of their uh, brothers and sisters are going for. Um, and I don't think it will always be like that. I think people are catching on to how great of a guitar the Jazzmaster is. Um, certainly ahead of its time, in my opinion. So we're gonna take it out front. Everybody knows it's my favorite guitar. Let's see what <laughs> we can do. But I think these are worth investing in at this, in this time. And uh, I think they're only gonna go up, but hey, that's me, I'm a big fan. So uh, let's go out front and see what we can do. Let's go. We're out front with a 1964. Fender Jazzmaster, look at that burst. What is going on? So cool. Looks like it's on fire. All right, we're going through a 1966 Fender Pro Reverb, starting off with that rhythm circuit. Here we go.
cool. Now we're going to start off with the neck pickup alone. Here we go. <laughs> but it still sounds all right. We're gonna keep going with it. All right, um, now we're gonna go into both pickups together. Check it out. So we're gonna put a little pog on this one. Uh, there's a really cool setting where you kind of get like a little orchestra behind you. Um, I thought it sounded really cool on this piece. Check it out.
So you get some pretty wild effects with a Jazz Master, makes you think outside of the box. And then you can also rock with it. So we'll just go to uh, Bridge Pickup. Here we go. have it your 1964 fender jazz master beautiful burst on this one uh, you can check out all these guitars at normansrareguitars.com and also on instagram and facebook make sure you watch the podcast next week with joe bonamassa we'll be announcing the winner of that beautiful guitar um thank you guys so much we'll see you tomorrow with edible Woo! <laughs> Woo! bye